Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video will be on leukocyte alkaline phosphatase score, also known as LAP score or NAP score. So let's get started. Leukocyte alkaline phosphatase score is also known as neutrophil alkaline phosphatase score. In this, the enzymatic stain specifically targets alkaline phosphatase, an enzyme which is abundantly present in the cytoplasm of mature neutrophils. The intensity of the strain reflects the level of LAP or NAP activity, providing a measure of neutrophil maturity and overall health. It serves as a diagnostic aid in various hematological conditions, particularly those involving neutrophil dysfunction. It plays a crucial role in differentiating between reactive neutrophilia, a normal response to infection or inflammation, or chronic myeloid leukemia, which has a higher number of immature neutrophils or blood cells. The neutrophilic leukocyte alkaline phosphatase stain is based on diazotization coupling principle, in which at pH 9.2 to 9.8, alkaline phosphatase hydrolyzes the naphthol ASBY phosphoric acid into alpha naphthol. The stable diazonium salt and naphthol sh shall form insoluble colored precipitate in the cytoplasm. Now let's talk about the staining procedure. For staining, a stock substrate solution is prepared by dissolving 30 mg naphthol AS phosphate in 0.5 ml NN dimethylformide and add 100 ml of 0.2 mole per litre trace buffer. Prepare working buffered substrate solution by warming 40 ml of stock substrate solution to room temperature and add 24 mg of fast blue BB salt and mix it well until the salt is fully dissolved. Then filter the mixture using a filter paper and funnel before use. Now fix all the blood smear slides in freshly prepared fixative 4% formalin methanol. Rinse the slide with slow running tap water for 2 to 3 minutes. Incubate the slide in working buffered substrate solution for 15 minutes. Then rinse the slide with slow running tap water for 1 to 2 minutes and air dry the slides. Then incubate the slides and counter stain 0.02% aqueous neutral red for 3 minutes. And rinse the slides briefly and allow it to air dry and mount the slide with DPX. The result. The reaction product will be blue and granular and the grading of intensity of stain can be done from negative to strongly positive. Depending on the intensity of staining, scoring is done. Zero point is given when no positive granules are found in the cytoplasm. One point is given when there are few sporadic positive granules in the cytoplasm of the neutrophil. Two point is given when there are medium number of granules in the cytoplasm or the blue color appears diffusely. Three point is given when there are many granules in the cytoplasm and dark blue color appears diffusely. And four point is given when the cytoplasm is full of large granules and dark blue color appears diffusely. So, the normal reference range of leukocyte alkaline phosphatase score is between 30 to 185. So, how do we calculate the lab score in a slide? Well, in the slide, when it is stained by the uh, lab stain, we have to count a total of 100 cells and then scoring is done. For example, if score 0 is observed in 20 cells, score 1 in 30 cells, score 2 in 20 cells, score 3 in 20 cells and score 4 in 10 cells, then calculation of lab score can be done by multiplying the number of cells into the score and adding it to give the total value of the lab score. For example, in this case, 20 into 0 plus 30 into 1 plus 20 into 2 plus 20 into 3 plus 10 into 4 is equals to 190. And then this is the lab score. So if in a patient the total leukocyte count is high, tend to differentiate between leukemoid reaction and chronic myeloid leukemia, lab score can be done. The lab score is high in leukemoid reaction, the lab score is low in chronic myeloid leukemia. Other causes of high lab score include pregnancy, polycythemia ovara, multiple myeloma, aplastic anemia, myelofibrosis, etc. And causes of low lab score other than CML are sickle cell anemia, hypophosphatemia, and paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. So in this video, I have explained about the procedure of lab score and how to calculate the lab score. I hope this video is useful for you all. 
Thank you and see you in the next video. Also don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are liking my videos. Thank you and bye for now.